Tinney from Mini Bowl Design and today I'm out here in the bicycle garage. Uh, not for long, I've spent most of the day in the factory. And I was over there in the factory with a bandsaw cutting metal uh, to make a battery box. Uh, so it was nice and warm over there and I didn't want to take the time to heat this building because it takes quite a while to warm this up because everything in here is like 10 degrees. Uh, and I, so I've gotten everything ready to come in and start a fire, warm things up, and then spend an afternoon welding. I've got quite a bit of stuff cut out that I can weld on. I don't like to weld over here <clears throat> unless I'm going to be here for a long time, make sure nothing catches on fire. Real good idea to hang around after you weld. Okay, I'll show you this, this box in a minute and talk about it. <clears throat> but this morning, uh, Beth only had weekday. She had like five orders. I went out and got the stuff for it. And then I spent the rest of the day building stoves. And when I got done building stoves, ironically, uh, for fun, I built more stoves. Only this time I built uh, a BIOS micro kit with a canister that goes over it and holds two ounces of fuel in a bottle. You'll see it in the store if you go in and look under uh, Wick stoves. And I built four M one thirds. That's a fun stove to build. And those are in the store too. Uh, <clears throat> Then I started on another batch of, of BIOS. I'm building a batch of, I don't know, like 25 BIOS. Okay, uh, and tomorrow I'll build more stoves. Now, this battery box, uh, I've got all the metal cut, and I'm holding it in place uh, using a piece of 4x4 four four pressure treated uh, to get everything square. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I want to get it as close as I can. Now, this is built out of uh, just metal that I salvaged. You can see... I've got it all cut, ready to weld. Got a welder down there. Little uh, tiny uh, DC welder. And I've got the metal all cut out here. And I've got everything bolted in place and squared up and measured. And I've been using a uh, carpenter square some to check everything. I'm about ready to weld. Okay, now let me talk about metal. That'll get away from alcohol stove and give me something... Uh, I'm a little more interested, interested in right now talking about. Now all this metal is salvaged from the metal pile at the, at the uh, transfer station or the dump. Now, if you know what you're doing, and I've made an art form out of this, uh, you can get some very high quality metal at the metal pile at the dump. You can also get some real garbage. Uh, you have to know, you just have to know what is what through trial and error, sample, and uh, resample. This is a piece of bed frame. Now you'd think bed frame would probably be not real great stuff, and that's true. Some of it is. Some of the bed frames that come with box, box mattresses and stuff from China are made out of very thin metal, painted black, and uh, they're very cheesy metal, they're not real good at all. It uh, doesn't weld well, uh, isn't strong, just not good stuff. Uh, this comes from an American made bed, not from a cheap frame around a box mattress. This frame came in a bed that had a metal headboard and footboard on it, one of the older beds. And this, although I have no way of telling exactly, acts like a O1 tool steel. I mean A1 tool steel. Uh, a being for air hardened. Uh, when you go to weld it, once it's welded, it's so hard you can't even drill it. Uh, if you start drilling a hole and your drill is dull and it heats the hole, you'll never get through it because it'll harden up. So once you heat this up so it starts to turn a little bit blue and then let it air cool, it will air harden. And if you get everything in place, drill all your holes ahead of time, uh, get everything just the way you want it and weld it up, it makes for a really rugged, solid, springy, tough, uh, assembly. Uh, you just have to know what you're doing. Uh, I, I, I really think that if you had to go buy this stuff, this quality, uh, it would cost you a lot of money. It's way better than just cold rolled. It's actually overkill for me because I'm making a battery box and the batteries that are going in this side are only going to weigh like 25 pounds. But on the other hand, it's free. And anytime I can get steel of this quality free, yeah. Why not? So, I'm going to use some, uh, 
I'm not sure what this rod is. Oh, 6013 rod to weld it. I'm not a real fine connoisseur welding rod, but this has worked well for me. 6013, and I've got another one that's 7013 or 70 something. And uh, 1 16th works real well. So I beat my gums enough about uh, steel and welding. Uh, everything is going very well. Sue is out in her shop uh, putting together a puzzle. She's waiting for the paint to finish hardening on the cabinet she painted for me. Beth was out raking leaves, but it's four fifth, around 420 right now, and it's dark out, pitch dark out. That's the reason why I have the lights on in here. Uh, tomorrow we're going to go to Walmart, and we're going to buy some paint for her to paint the inside of the cabinet. Pick up a few more simple things that I probably need for some bolts and stuff. Uh, probably at Obishon Hardware for the trike. And, of course, I'll probably build stoves, too. So, I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design. Get out and hike. Take a friend. Enjoy the great outdoors. And more important than anything, try to have a really great day. Try to take some time out to have a little bit of fun today. You deserve it. Bye-bye.